Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Christian here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be doing an anti-holiday. Get it? It's an anti-haul, but it's also a holiday anti-haul. So yeah. So yeah, that is totally me being super cheesy. So anyways, you guys, today, the day that this video hopefully will be going live is actually Black Friday. Black Friday is the busiest shopping day of the year. Most sales nowadays start kicking off on Thursday, but I thought that instead of doing a recommendation list or instead of doing a um, all of the different things that you can pick up on Black Friday, what's gonna be on sale, I thought it would be beneficial to do an anti-haul. Me personally this year, I am not purchasing anything during Black Friday, no makeup whatsoever. There are two things that I'm kinda wanna pick up that I may go ahead and spring for. Glam Glow does buy one, get one free on all of their products online and then I might pick up some Anastasia singles but outside of that I don't think I will be picking up this anything Black Friday this year because I have enough makeup. I say that today but tomorrow it might be a completely different story. But Black Friday is just one of those things that you're already out shopping, you're already excited, you're already you know saving a lot of money and getting deals and discounts and then comes the impulse buying and the impulse shopping. So I just thought it would be kind of a cool thing to kind of just say take a step back, no we don't need it and we're not going to buy it. As you guys already know anti hauls have kind of taken off over the last year. They were definitely by now I'm sure everybody knows it, they were created by Kimberly Clark and the reason they were created was for this exact purpose right now to stop overconsumption and overpurchasing of makeup to really take a step back and really think about what you buy before you purchase it because chances are you probably don't need it. I know that I'm kind of like the pot calling the kettle black because I purchase a ton of makeup but there's just so much out right now that looks beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous and all of that and it makes you like instinctively it makes you want to buy it especially if you're a collector or a makeup lover but these products I just have no zero desire, zero want, zero need and I will not will not be purchasing it. So if you are interested in an anti-holiday, anti-haul, then you are definitely in the right place. I just quickly wanna say that before I get into the video, if you do not mind hitting the subscribe button down below if you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back you guys. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this anti-haul. So I'm gonna to try to keep everything related to holiday 2017. So the first thing that I will not be purchasing any of, not a single thing, is the Kylie Cosmetics Holiday 2017 collection. Now it comes with two, let's go ahead and take a look, it comes with two eyeshadow palettes, it looks like it comes with two different lip sets, a lip kit, the wet set, which I'm not going to lie, I did have interest in and I really did want to pick up the first time they released, but I've decided that I just don't want to purchase it. And then it also, like she pretty much does with most of her collection, it also comes with a makeup bag. I'm on Trent Mood's Instagram. And it says that the wet set is actually different colors, but it's the exact same formula, 62 bucks. I just couldn't bring myself to spend $62 on anything Kylie Cosmetics. Well, I do like some of her products. A lot of the things in her collection can be really inconsistent. You will get one really great eyeshadow palette and then the next thing that she releases is super inconsistent. I would be more willing to try Kylie Cosmetics if they allowed returns, which they don't. So if I didn't like something, I could easily say, I don't like this. I'm gonna go ahead and return it. It's not for me. I didn't like the quality. I don't know if that's changed, but the last time I purchased anything from Kylie Cosmetics, she did not allow returns. So let me know down below if that has actually changed. Um, it's also two eyeshadow palettes, which are $44 each. 44 bucks for an eyeshadow palette, not terrible. And it come, they do come with 14 shades a piece. One is the naughty, one is the nice. And I disliked, disliked her holiday eyeshadow palette so much last year. So I just, it just didn't make sense to me. While these do look a little bit better, they do look a little bit more cohesive and they do make a little bit more sense as far as layouts compared to the one from last year. I just, I kind of, after last year, I was just kind of over it and I just really, really don't want to um, take another chance on her eyeshadow palettes. So I do like some of her eyeshadow palettes, but not all of them. I've purchased a ton of eyeshadow palettes recently and I definitely don't need anything limited edition. I know that it's great for my channel. I can review things for you guys and talk about things for you, but that's just not a good enough reason to purchase something that I have a zero interest in. So I will not be picking up the eyeshadow palettes. A makeup bag for 36 bucks, y'all. I'm sure that the quality is really great, but I can go to Target, I can go to the travel section and buy a makeup bag for $3. So, and I have a ton of free gift with purchase makeup bags, so I definitely don't feel the need to spend $36 on a makeup bag just because it says Kylie Cosmetics on it, but that's just me. If you are a lover of Kylie Cosmetics and you have 36 bucks to spend on a, on a makeup bag, go for it. I would be more willing to say, okay, maybe if it came with a free lip gloss or something else thrown in there, but just to have to pay for a makeup bag that is completely empty with nothing in it for $36 seems like a bit much. So there is a lip set in Spice for $60 and that comes with Juniper, which is a metallic gloss, uh, 
the shade Clove, which is a matte, Goals, uh, which is a velvet, Cinnamon, which is a gloss, and Hollyberry, which is a matte. Retail, like I said, for 60 bucks, and that's a lip set in Spice. And then she also has a lip set in Sugar, which also retails for 60 bucks. And I'm not really gonna go into all of the different shades that come in there. And then you can buy the entire bundle for $250 dollars which 250 dollars for two eyeshadow palettes a highlighting set and 10 lip products really when you think about it it doesn't seem like a i mean it's definitely a lot of money to drop all at one time but when you're taking in consideration all of the different things that you would be purchasing and getting for 250 bucks it's not terrible i just think that kylie cosmetics is too much of an inconsistent brand for me <coughs> and there are definitely brands that i would much prefer spending 250 dollars on if i was going to spend 250 dollars in one shot it's going to be on a brand that I trust can rely on like maybe something from Natasha Denona maybe something from Makeup Forever things that I know are gonna be good quality and I don't really have to second guess or question my purchase and too often with Kylie Cosmetics I never know what I'm gonna get so I will 100% be passing on every single thing in that collection. I'm pretty sure that I have talked about this product before either in an anti-haul or in a will I buy it and I will be starting my will, the will I buy it series back up I just haven't had time to film the way I would like to. I'm pretty sure that I've already talked about this but it's just one of those products that I'm just kind of like, first of all, no. Second of all, j just just no. So what I am talking about is the Too Faced the White Chocolate Bar Palette. Now it is officially available right now. The last time I checked, it was available for Sephora, VIB Rouge, and VIB. I'm not entirely sure that if it's out for everybody yet. Let me see. Oh yeah, so it came out officially yesterday, November 23rd um, for Black Friday. So now it's available to everyone on the Sephora website. Just like all of Too Faced um, palettes, the larger, more chocolate bar style palettes, it retails for $45. So I'm kind of looking at the palette right here. Of course, I will have a picture somewhere on the screen so you guys can see it. But this palette makes zero sense to me. Zero. I don't want to be too, too harsh, but at the same time, this is kind of how I feel about Too Faced at this point. Now, I do have some interest in that other palette, the white the dipped in gold, I do think that that one looks a lot more visibly appealing than this guy does. But this is kind of how I feel about Too Faced at this point. They are at this point getting us with the chocolate bar, the chocolate scented stuff, the peach scented stuff. They're extending collection after collection because they know that it's so hype and it's so popular and that people are just going to buy it for the sake of buying it. I feel like at this point Too Faced can make something smell like anything. Chocolate, peaches, you know, you want to start doing strawberries, bananas, whatever the case may be because they've already done the banana thing with the, um, with the Candy Johnson collection. I feel like they're just at this point just saying, okay, we know that people are going to buy it. We know that it, we know that influencers are going to talk about it. Influencers are going to push our products and we don't really care. Like we don't really care. We're just going to throw a bunch of, we're going to go into the Too Faced vault. We're going to get the same brown that we've used a hundred times over, which I will admit they don't have a bunch of warm mid-tone browns in this particular palette. Um, I only see one true brown shade. So they're, so it's kind of like instead of really taking their time and making something that their consumer would want, it's like they're saying, okay, well, we'll show you a palette that doesn't have a bunch of warm tone browns and a bunch of mid-tone browns and a bunch of golds. We're going to take the most random shades that we can possibly find, throw it in a palette and say, this is what you've been asking for. No, no, nobody asked for this. No, nobody, nobody wants this. Like, it, what what I I'm, I'm not a makeup artist I you know I don't have that creative makeup bone in my body to where I can literally make anything work I know that there are people out there who can the average consumer which are the people who are going to be purchasing this what are you going to do with this because I'm looking at this and I'm kind of like nope at a complete loss for words I think that this is just a little bit of an not to sound super negative but I feel like this is a little bit of a joke when it comes to an eyeshadow palette I just think that they've done better they can do better and they should do better something else that I'm not going to be purchasing and this is from Becca this is their it is the light waves highlighter palette and it does retail for $34 and it does come with three different highlighters in it here is my problem with Becca at this point and I did purchase one of their new, the Apre, the Apre, if I'm saying that right, the Apre or Apre Ski Glow Palette. I did purchase that and I do actually enjoy that and I do actually like it. Here is my issue with Becca at this point. You, They have beautiful packaging, which I think suckers a lot of us, gets a lot of us to go ahead and make the commitment to purchase their products because the packaging is beautiful and a lot of us love the formulation of their highlighting palettes. Here's my problem with them at this point. And here is why, unless they come out with something really new, really fun and really exciting, I think at this point I'm kind of like over Becca Cosmetics. They re literally release the same thing 
over and over and over again and then they'll throw one new shade in it and be like look we have a new shade it's exclusive to this palette so if you want to try this new shade which a lot of us might want to try because it's genuinely beautiful and they generally have a pretty good formulation of highlighters you have to buy a palette that has highlighters that you already have and it's so it's kind of like you're literally at buying the same thing over and over and over again when it comes to Becca and then some of the stuff even though the shade names are different a lot of them are similar colors similar tones and it's just like I want them to come out with something new okay so really quickly let me just go ahead and tell you what comes in here it comes with the shade Moonstone which literally they have Moonstone I have a palette I think two palettes or three palettes already that have the shade Moonstone in there pink sapphire which is the new shade and prismatic amethyst which I already own in a full size so it just be, makes this even though it's $34 and even though for three highlighters especially for Becca highlighters where they range like our $38 34 for three doesn't seem that bad but when you own two of them in the full size already it's kind of like enough is enough either they need to change it up come out with some new things or they need to just Stop with the palette game altogether. I love their stuff individually. Like I love their bronzers. I reach for the uh, Chrissy Teigen palette a lot. I, I love the Jaclyn Hill face palette. So it's not a matter of their products being good. It's just at this point a matter of their products being the exact same, releasing the exact same thing repeatedly several times throughout the year. And I thought it looked beautiful. And I was interested in this until I realized that I own the other products in full size. So this is a pass. And Becca's been doing that a lot. So. I just think until they come out with something different, something new, something fun and innovative for their highlighters, I'm going to just be passing on all of their face palettes in general. Now I was intending to do a completely separate video on box sets, huge expensive gift sets, but then I decided to just go ahead and throw them all into an anti-haul because I'm not going to be purchasing any of them. Now some of these gift sets, some of these huge box sets I think are great values and I definitely th do think that a few of them are worth the money, but overall no. I just don't think that they're worth the value, especially for the average consumer. The ones that I do think are the best bang for your buck are the skincare sets. If you love an entire skincare line, you definitely can save a lot of money with these huge box sets and gift sets. The Drunk Elephant one, I wanted to purchase. I'm not even going to lie. It was the trunk and I think it retailed for 425 bucks. I definitely saw that and I had a lot of interest in it because I use the entire Drunk Elephant skincare line. So for me, that actually would have been a really great value. So the skincare sets, usually I would say, okay, they typically are worth it. And I do think that they are a good value. Watch my channel if you, you know, watch my videos. I love a good gift set. I love a good box set. And I typically think that they are truly, truly worth the money. And usually when you purchase them, you are saving a pretty decent amount of money. We're going to start with this one. The one that I legitimately think is the most ridiculous one of them all. The for $650. And it's only a $684 value, you guys. So this is not even worth it in and of itself. You're probably getting one, maybe two of these for free. This is the Confession, Lip the Confession Lipstick Archive. And it is by Hourglass. And it comes with 30 of their new Hourglass. They are called the Confessions Ultra Slim the Confessions Ultra Slim Lipstick Refills. You get 30 of those and then you get two of the actual, what are those called? And then you get two of the actual lipstick. I don't know what there's a name for them, but we're just going to call them lipstick holders for the purpose of this video. Hourglass, for the most part, makes really great products. Hourglass, for the most part, is quality, very high end. And usually I will justify the purchase of an Hourglass product because they're usually worth the money, even though they are very expensive. I had interest in these lipsticks when they first initially launched, and I actually put them in a will I buy it and said that I was going to purchase it. But when I realized how much product you actually got for the price, I don't think that they're worth it. Second of all, this is what this I want to say was a PR box. And I know that there has been a lot of excitement around PR boxes and us as the regular consumer wanting to get PR boxes and having the opportunity to purchase them for ourselves. But a PR box is something that these influencers are getting for free and you want me to spend $680 on it? No, I'm sorry, $650 on it? No. I think that they could have streamlined it. Like for example, Benefit has done Benefit, uh, Benefit has done PR boxes in the past and they do them for an extremely, extremely, I would say a generous price, like heavily discounted to where we as the consumer can feel and get a huge bang for our buck. This is not a huge bang for your buck. So purchase two, purchase three. If you are interested in this lipstick formulation, if you are interested in trying these lipsticks, you do not need 30 of them all at one time. Even though these colors for the most part do look pretty wearable, there's no severely out there colors. I would be willing to guarantee that out of 30, there's probably at least 
five or six of them that you're never going to use or never going to wear, if not more. So then the value of this, which isn't even a good value to begin with because it's $684 and you're paying $650. It, the value of it is gone, 100% gone. But I think brands do things like this because they know it's holiday time, they know that we're excited, and they think that we're just genuinely going to impulse buy. This particular set out of all of them kind of to me was like a joke. Like, are you kidding? Why not put 10? 10 universal colors, 10 flattering colors, and then say, okay, here's 10 shades for 150 bucks. That I could have gotten behind. You know what I mean? Which I know for Hourglass is never gonna happen. I think that that's too heavily discounted. But that is something that I could have said, okay, that's actually worth it because the value of that would have been worth it. This to me has zero, zero value. To be honest, I don't really think that this is something that a lot of people are purchasing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, um, maybe you know, as a really nice luxury gift, some people are. But I mean, this is a trip somewhere. $650, this is a plane ticket somewhere. This is a hotel stay for three nights and two days. You know what I mean? So no, this is definitely something that I think is overpriced, not worth the money and just 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 know okay so another one and i'm gonna come up real quick now there is one i will admit i know this is an anti-haul but i will uh, mention this really quickly so when i say like at least a decent value this ysl one is 225 dollars but it's a 300, $330 value. So you're saving a hundred bucks if you were to buy this kit. And all of these shades for the most part are wearable and you're getting a variety of formulations. So you're getting one, two, three, you're getting, it looks like three different formulations that they sell. Um, so a kit like this, if you're gonna drop $225 all at one time, I think something like this is a lot more worth it. And because you get to try different formulations within a brand, you get to try different colors within a brand. It's wearable with the shades are wearable and from what it looks like will look flattering on a lot of different skin tones and you're saving over a hundred dollars so you know what i'm gonna leave it there with the gift sets because i do think that i am gonna do a separate video talking about all of the different gift sets another product that i will not be purchasing is the kat von d metal crush extreme highlighter palette now i actually originally said that i was going to purchase this and i was super excited about it but i it retails for 36 bucks and it comes with let's see what it says it's a super limited highlighter palette with three metallic shades for light catching dimension and it says that it is inspired by kat von d's best-selling metal crush eyeshadow thunderstruck metal crush extreme highlighter palette is a loaded with hyper reflective micro micro crystals that sparkle and shift with every movement now i wanted to purchase this and i will admit it because i love the kat von d um, metallic eyeshadows but they are very soft and they do break extremely easily but that formulation is amazing everybody was using thunderstruck as a highlighter for such a long time because it was a really beautiful highlighter so I can see why she would want to create a highlighter palette around that formulation and around that particular eyeshadow. But personally for me, I just feel like everything in here is dupable. I purchased quite a few highlighter palettes um, during the holiday season already and I kind of just stick with my favorites. Like I literally have the same four highlighters on rotation right now and I'm testing out quite a few because I still have to bring like my final holiday roundup video which is those are about to start this coming up week um the products that i recommend and like all of the different um uh, all of the different categories i'm gonna start hopefully filming that this week so i just don't need it i don't need another highlighter palette the, i have no doubt that it's really great and really creamy really buttery really high shine because cap on d for mo for the most part her products are knock out of the park type situations but this is just not something for me maybe i'll change my mind this is definitely one of those things that i would like to go into the store and swatch but i also purchased her other highlighter palette the one that came in the the shape of the triangle and i typically only use that as inner corner highlights i don't ever really use it on my face and i don't need another highlighter palette because i have so many that i'm not even using i have so many highlighters that i'm not even using and i was i don't know for some reason i was expecting a little bit more fun and a little bit more excitement out of this i have no doubt that it's beautiful but i just don't think it's something that i need the last thing that i will not be purchasing for holiday 2017 is the new eyeshadow palette by Kevin Aquan. It is going to be limited edition and it is gonna retail for $59. It is gonna, it says it includes 12 sheer metallic duochrome, duochrome shades and it will be available on Cyber Monday, November 27th. Early access for VIB Rouge, December 4th for everyone. Okay, so it doesn't really bother me when an eyeshadow palette comes with all shimmer shades or all metallics because I personally have enough eyeshadows in my collection to where I can pull a couple of singles for somewhere else. I think it's cool that brands are starting to do different things, more creative things, giving us pops of colors. They're giving us what we're asking for. Everybody was sick of the warm toned 
um, high, the warm tone eyeshadow palettes, the all neutral eyeshadow palettes. We were sick of seeing the same thing over and over again. So I do feel like brands are starting to listen to us and they're starting to do different things. However, I feel like when they start to do different things, everybody kind of jumps on the same exact bandwagon and everybody starts doing the same different thing. I hope that makes sense because in my head it totally made sense, but saying it out loud, I don't know if it made sense. But it's just one of those things where I think that it's really cool to have a shimmer, an all shimmer, an all metallic eyeshadow palette. I really enjoy that the one that Urban Decay actually just came out with. You guys, I honestly think that I should probably just return this. I still have not touched the Fenty one, which again is another all glitter, all metallic eyeshadow palette. I'm not one of those people who are going to complain about needing an all matte eyeshadow palette. But I am one of those people that is going to be like, okay, well, do the colors speak to me? Is it something that I'm going to use? Is it something that I'm going to reach for? The reason I'm kind of looking around, I was looking for my Urban Decay one, which I don't have any idea where it is right now because I took all my makeup down and stored it away to kind of make for my pretty holiday background. But I look at these and while what I liked about the Urban Decay one is the heavy metal, is that what it's called? Is half of it is jewel tones, half of it is very wearable neutral metallics. Whereas these, I think that they, it is a little more fun with the greens and the purples. You get the black and then you get some more wearable shades. I just feel like the Urban Decay one has done it for me. It's everything that I need. I don't really need another one of those secondary palettes in my collection. 12 shades for 59 where the Urban Decay one has. 20, I believe it was a 20 shades for 60. So, well, I've never tried Kevin and Kwan eyeshadows and I would love to try Kevin and Kwan eyeshadows. This is just not the palette that I think I would want to test out his eyeshadow palettes with. I've tried his highlighters and I've tried some of his face products and they're great. Um, this palette, just for me, it doesn't really speak to me. It doesn't really bring me joy and excitement and it doesn't really make me think holiday. So I definitely will be passing on that guy. So that is everything that I'm going to be talking about for holiday 2017. I've already done one of these videos and I do have another one planned. The other video I'm going to be talking about a bunch of the box sets that are releasing for holiday 2017. I talked about a couple of them in this video but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the footage in or take it out and make a completely separate video because I went on a tangent like a huge huge tangent and I think that that could be a video in and of itself. So yeah you guys thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not already. Let me know down below what are some of the things that you just refuse to purchase during holiday 2017. I would definitely be interested because I would like to know like are our tastes the same? Are there things that I just caved into that you were like, no, absolutely not gonna buy? Or if it's things that we totally just agree on. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this video was not too negative. And yeah, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.